The cold and the flu are both respiratory illnesses, but the main difference between them is their severity. Colds aren't as severe as flus. They're both viruses, but the cold usually starts a little bit slower. It occurs over a few days before you realize how bad the symptoms have become. With the flu, it comes out of nowhere and it usually hits you hard and it hits you fast. So you can have headaches, um, cough, congestion, fever, chills, body aches, Whereas with the cold, you generally would have mainly upper respiratory tract infections, symptoms, things like sinus congestion, cough. You might have a little bit of fever, but it's usually not to the degree you would with the, the flu. Overall, with viruses, supportive care is the best method of treatment. Things you can do at home to help your cold and flu is hydrate, plenty of hydration. The most important thing that I stress to my patients is they need to drink a lot of water. Granted, they should also consult with their doctor if they have other conditions that might prohibit them from drinking a lot of water. Um, other things that might help as well are plenty of rest. They can drink tea with a little bit of honey and lemon for sore throats and over-the-counter medications after consulting with their doctors. So the best way to avoid catching the cold or flu is hand hygiene. So wash your hands throughout the day, especially during flu season, which runs from September through March. Um, other things are to not touch your face. So the way colds and flus are transmitted is usually through the air, through droplets. Um, when somebody coughs, um, you can catch their cold or flu. If you touch something that has a cold or flu virus on it and you transmit it to your mouth, nose, or eyes, you can actually catch it as well. So my advice is wash your hands and try not to touch your face.